Today, we will be discussing some common mental illnesses. You will get a chance to meet each of these illnesses embodied in a cartoon form and learn about how common these illnesses are and how they affect people. Here comes the first one. Hi there, I am Generalized Anxiety Disorder. You may be wondering what I'm all about. First, it's important to note that there are all kinds of anxiety disorders, but I am a specific and common type called Generalized Anxiety Disorder. In fact, it is estimated that up to 5% of people in Canada will be diagnosed with me in the course of their lifetime, and that women are affected twice as often as men. Though my causes are not fully understood, I am likely a combination of both biological and emotional factors. What are some of my symptoms? I am a condition marked by excessive worry and feelings of fear, dread, and uneasiness that last six months or longer. I can manifest through both emotional and physical symptoms. My emotional symptoms include persistent, unrealistic, and exaggerated fears that have a significant impact on normal everyday life. These fears are not a response to a threat and are not entirely caused by concrete things or situations. I am referred to as generalized anxiety because these feelings of anxiety can be associated with just about anything. Furthermore, when people worry or are afraid, their bodies react by the adrenal glands releasing the hormone adrenaline. This speeds up many of the body's functions, usually to temporarily increase alertness and the ability to respond. The heart beats faster and breathing can become more shallow and rapid. However, this physical state of alertness can last much longer in people with me generalized anxiety disorder, and may cause lightheadedness, nervousness, muscle tension, a racing heartbeat, or stomach problems. This makes being worried all the time exhausting, and concentration and sleep may also be affected. Thank you to Generalized Anxiety Disorder for speaking to us. Next up, we have depression. Hi, I'm depression. You may have heard of me before, but not know exactly what I am. I am characterized by a state of low mood and aversion to activity that can affect a person's thoughts, behavior, feelings, and sense of well-being. I can affect people at any age, in various phases of life, and under various circumstances. In addition, the female to male ratio of individuals who have me averages 2 to 1. According to Statistics Canada 2012 Canadian Community Health Survey on Mental Health, 4.7% of the Canadian population age 15 and over reported symptoms that met the criteria for major depression in the previous 12 months. It's not exactly clear what causes me to arise. It's thought that biological processes, psychological factors, people's personal circumstances, and particular events in their lives play a role. For example, a study done by Kendler et al. finds that having a family history of me, depression, accounts for around 39% of the difference in depression rates seen between the sexes. In addition, early life experiences such as poor parent-child relationship, neglect, and physical and sexual abuse almost certainly increase a person's chance of having me, depression, in later life. What are some of my symptoms? I can manifest through several different signs. However, some typical signs to look out for can include the following feeling emotionally low or down all the time, a loss of energy and motivation, a general lack of joy and interest, difficulties concentrating and making decisions, and withdrawing from friends and family. There are also certain physical symptoms associated with me. These may include constant fatigue, trouble sleeping, a loss of appetite, rapidly losing or gaining weight, and a loss of sexual desire. Thanks for all that information, depression. Let's welcome our next guest, Bipolar Disorder. Hi, I'm Bipolar Disorder, and I'm another common mental disorder. Bipolar Disorder is type 1 and 2 affect 1.5% of Canada's population. I can manifest as either Bipolar 1 and Bipolar 2 disorder. People with Bipolar 1 have at least one episode of mania, which is a period of abnormally elevated mood and high energy, alternating with periods of severe depression. In contrast, people with bipolar 2 have depressive and hypomaniac episodes, which is a less intense elevated mood than mania. The major difference between bipolar 1 and bipolar 2 is that the highs in bipolar 2 are not as intense as the highs in bipolar 1. So you may be wondering what my symptoms can include. 
They include mania, such as feeling overly happy for long stretches of time, or feeling easily irritated. In addition, symptoms of depression such as feeling sad or hopeless, extreme fatigue or lack of energy for long periods of time, and significant loss or increase in appetite are signs of me as well. The main difference between bipolar disorder and depression is the symptoms of mania or hypomania present in bipolar disorder. Thank you bipolar disorder for all that information. To recap, we talked to three common mental illnesses, generalized anxiety disorder, depression, and bipolar disorder, and went over what each illness is, how common it is, and what the symptoms are. We hope you were able to learn a bit more about each of these common mental illnesses today. Thanks for watching.